So here we are at the beginning of phase two, or on day two of phase two. This is rolling dip five, the lowest in the series. Water's gonna be crossing the roadway here. We just had the Mini X in to taper the rundown. You can kind of see it here and get ready. That's just nice even grade all the way down to the low point in the drainage. So we'll come in here and be lining this with gabion rock and some larger granite facing rock to make sure that's a non-erosive surface. Taking the water from where it's gonna cross the roadway, starting right over there. Then I'll take you up further where we started the bank armoring section where head cuts four and five used to be. So here we are looking up where head cuts four and five once were. Now we have a series of step pools coming down and we've begun the bank armoring project. We started by laying two courses of gabion rock, starting all the way up here and knitting it together all the way down along the bottom. We're gonna end just around this corner right here where we'll have a nice little dissipation, kind of a, a little stone weir, bring it down to a level sill. <clears throat> we'll have a few grade control, grade control structures set in the bottom as we come up this way. And now the current project is to start armoring this side of the road. So we're dropping in large rocks one at a time with the excavator right here, setting them in and then wedging them by just tapping them with the bucket, getting them in nice and tight. We'll probably do it, we'll do at least two courses of large rock, possibly three in some places. Um, but you can see, so again, this bottom is all, there's already two layers of riprap in here and we'll put in probably one more layer of riprap in the form of several different grade control weirs um, along this bottom segment. The most vulnerable section of the road where there was formerly at least a two foot overhang which you can see in the first video on this project has now been armored up here. So we'll have again a little bit more rock coming in right here just to finish that off. And then this will all be one course higher as well. So here we are at rolling dip three, water's crossing the roadway, blue flag to blue flag. And we had the excavator in to just slightly feather a little bit of a rundown into the large third Zuni bowl we constructed in phase one. So again, we'll be laying in riprap here all keyed into this set of stones right here. So our big heavy ones will key in the rocks and then work them on up the rundown, steady grade, and then that'll tag right into the rolling dip that's coming across the roadway. So here we are day three, starting the beginning of rolling dip number one, highest rolling dip in the drainage. We're gonna use the laser to measure the native height difference from this, our exit point, and basically the start of the, the crossing of the rolling dip up here. And just figure out what the current situation is, if we have to remove material, or do we need to pile more material up here, etc. And then Wes is taking measurements using the grade level of both the native grade of the drainage ditch and the actual road, because when we make the bottom of the rolling dip, we're gonna work to ensure that we either keep the same grade as the inbound grade of the road or make it slightly steeper so that the bottom of the rolling dip is self-cleaning and is uh, not prone to filling with sediment. So that's the plan for right now. And then we'll be bringing in material from here on down to create the rollout for the dip, finishing somewhere around that red flag. Here we are at the start of day four. Rolling dip one has been completed. Finish this one yesterday morning. So even though it looks like nothing here in front of the camera right now, water was initially just running around and staying on the roadway, continuing down this way to the culvert beyond. Um, so now there's a dip. Water's gonna follow this course and then come off right through here in this lead out right into the nice flat wide valley bottom. It's a little bit more visible here for rolling dip one. Water's coming in right here on the side and it's crossing the roadway right through here, heading into the valley drainage. And again, this is in the lead out ditch of rolling dip one. You can see the course the water would be taking the low point right through here. It's a 3% grade as it crosses the roadway and then comes into a nice broad sill lead out. Here we are at the beginning of day four, looking at the bottom of bank armoring two, the second section of bank armoring where the gully got really close to the road. Right here is the lowest portion where this is water will be running this way, heading down, down the gully. 
Um, we have a sill dug in at grade right here and then a couple levels of gabion that step down. And then there's two courses of knitted gabion rock all the way up to here. Um, some of it's covered by silt where we've been working and dropping in the larger boulders on the roadside. And we'll drop down here to take a look. <clears throat> Everything's very fragile right now after the rains. Um, so we've been putting in the silt here over the knitted gabion and then we're going to be dropping in a second and third course of the larger facing rock here just to ensure that this hillside in the event of a really high heavy discharge um, isn't getting hit by the water and that is going to further the erosion on this bank but we're going to be installing today a series of probably seven or eight different grade control structures up the bottom of this gully so probably just one rock dams four to five rock deep at various spots all the way up so that this whole bottom is going to be gathering sediment and aggrading, lifting its level. And we'll use what's already going to be falling off of this really fragile edge. And hopefully as we bring it up, we'll start to broaden it, slow the flow, um, decrease its energy a little bit and decrease the erosive capacity of this section. So here we are looking at rolling dip five. Water course comes in here and then crosses the roadway here at about a 4% grade. And then we're gonna check out the stone line rundown that Riley's almost done constructing. Still have a little bit more work to do for feathering the rollout on the downhill side of the dip. <clears throat> now we're in the bottom, the low point. So you can start to see the water's gonna head this way. We're having a little catcher's wing come out and that'll all be lined with gabion rock on the side. Gabion will come up right to where the grade steepens a little bit as it heads down into the drainage. And then down at the bottom, we're almost done. Riley's going to be putting in a tips up Media Luna tiny little deposition basin just to make sure that any sediment that does reach the bottom of this will be collected in kind of a nice wide arc, create a very level sill for water to discharge over the broadest surface possible before transitioning back down into the waterway. So here we are, end of day seven, finishing early. This is rolling dip five where we started the first video in this series. So you can see right here, water comes down and it's gonna cross the roadway at this low point right here. And it's got a nice kind of rolling, rocking boat motion for trucks and trailers to go over. Very gentle rollout that we're walking up right now. And then goes right into the longest rundown that we had big sill here that's going to self-level and then we've got armored riprap all the way down into the drainage bottom and down at the bottom we've got in the shape of a tips up media luna to basically spill the water as broad as possible right here over this edge and then just passively let it go right where it was going before. And here's the view from the top of Rolling Dip 5, looking down the water course. Water will come right here in front of the camera, follow this low point right to the drain. And vehicles have a nice, easy way to cross the road here. This is as best a demonstration as any, just seeing how, especially a truck and trailer, passes over the Rolling Dip. One side drops first, the other. The trailer with plenty of clearance. There we go. So this is rolling dip four. We're walking up the rollout right now. Super subtle, this one. <clears throat> this whole area used to puddle. So basically what we did is we cut a 4% drain from this point over to here. So basically there's a, it's still pretty shallow for a rolling dip, but there's a hole in the bucket. So water has a way out. And then we created a nice rock line rundown little catcher's arm, just in case of a high flow event. And then we have large rocks all knitted together, one into the next that are super tight. We can walk down. And here's the view from the bottom. So water will come out of this rolling dip, crosses the roadway here, transits down right into Zuni Bowl 6. This has a nice sill and on back down the drainage.
Now we're approaching the bank armoring section. This was probably the largest single installation in this work session. We'll drop down into the gully here, <clears throat> into the bottom. Take a look at it from the bottom. So here's our sill. We've got dug in rocks here along the bottom and a nice transition for the water to hit that and then continue on at grade right here in front of us. Large rocks were keyed in with a excavator with a thumb. So each one was placed individually, knitted together, wedged with smaller rocks so that we have a good heavy lower bank armoring in case of a high flow event and enough to hold back this really fragile DG soil. And then in here is where it was super incised so you can get a better view. This is the rocks here are about five to six feet high. So a lot of work, a lot of time. Again, most of these, probably two thirds of them were all placed with the mini excavator. <clears throat> Probably in the next phase, we'll come back in and place some great control structures in the bottom. But for now, we already have two courses of riprap all along the bottom of this gully. So that will be, will be preventing future down cutting. And then this already fragile eroded edge here, we'll come back and seed with some California native grasses, maybe some coyote bush. Um, knowing that it's going to continue to erode, this vertical edge is going to collapse, but then We'll place in those grade control structures throughout and actually use that to grade the gully bottom as we start to broaden the kind of floodplain um, for this area and then hopefully help to rehydrate the surrounding landscape and just make moisture persist for a little bit longer into the dry season here. Now we're walking up on the rollout for rolling dip three which feeds into the former location of Head Cut 3, now Zuni Bowl 3. So we're approaching the crest of the rollout right now, and water starts crossing the roadway right here, follows this line, and then hits our armored rundown. Nice broad sill in the event of a high flow event. Low point is all through here, and we go through heavy rocks, and then right at this point right here it gets steeper and then head straight down into Zuni Ball 3. We'll walk down and take a look from the bottom and these are all knitted together so kind of dragon scale style one over the other so that water has a good non-erosive flow path on down from the rolling dip into what we now know as the Giants Bathtub, Zuni Bowl 3, which we documented in an earlier video. Here's the view again from the top of Rolling Dip 3. Water course comes right here, right in this low point, and then transits directly across the roadway to our rundown and to Zuni Bowl 3. Doesn't look like much from a camera, but this took about it was 10, maybe 12, 15 yards of additional road base. Um, in addition to using all the material that we cut out of here, this drain is uh, at about 5%, 5 to 6 at minimum, 7 at the highest. Um, we tried to keep it as even as possible so that there's no sediment deposition from the inbound grade coming in, no plugs. But we have a nice broad high bank here so that even if sediment does settle on the bottom, um, it should be mostly self-cleaning as it heads down towards the rundown. <laughs> 